Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, my name is Ron and today we will be doing an unboxing of a wishlist plant. So I received this plant from my partner Josh who's sitting over there but he doesn't want to be on camera right now and it's supposed to be an early birthday present my birthday isn't until another month and a couple weeks or something like that so i think i might be receiving an, another actual birthday present <laughs> i don't know but anyway the plant is actually already sitting in my new millsville wide that I set up, set up right there. Ah, sneak peek. Let's go back in time to when I actually unbox the plant and then you can see the reveal. Okay guys, here I am in my plant room and here is the package that I received. It's not a big plant as you can see, but the type of plant will make up for its size. So I wasn't given any details as to where the plant came from other than the fact that it came from a seller on Etsy all the way from Michigan. So it traveled throughout the Midwest and all the way here to the West Coast where I am located. And as you can see, there wasn't a heat pack included and USPS took an extra day, but everything turned out all right. And what kind of plant is it? <gasps> well, it is a Monstera Thai constellation. And it has a new growth and it looks like it's going to be a big one. And there is a substrate and a really thick looking root and it looks so healthy. I'm assuming this is a very reputable seller on Etsy because the packaging is great, the plant looks great, and I can't wait to watch this baby grow. You guys, it's so pretty. It's so cute. Look at this aerial root. It's like so fresh. So this is the oldest leaf. It has that like splotchy variegation that Thai constellations are very known for. And then the next leaf, a little bit more blocky variegation right there. And then this newest leaf, guys, it's so pretty. There is a dark spot right there. I think that's due to physical damage with the shipping. But there is a new growth right here. How exciting is that? Typically when I, when I receive plants in the mail and there's a growth point or new growth um, coming out, there's always like physical damage on that leaf. But thankfully, there isn't really a lot of damage on this one. I mean, there is like very slight brown spots on there if you can see. Can you see that? I guess it's not that bad. But there is one right there, which is okay, because it could be worse, right? Still moist. There is a bunch of sphagnum moss and perlite. If you look closely here, look at all those roots. This is a lot of roots for just a three leaf plant. I don't know if it was grown from seed because, I mean, there is a good chance that it is grown from seed because the stem seems to be going all the way down into the soil. There's like no discernible incision point. I'm so excited. So I've been always wanting this plant ever since I got, actually, let me tell you the truth. I never really cared for the Thai constellation. When I first found out about, about the Monstera elbow with the pure white variegation, I just fell in love because I love the combination of the white and the green. And then I found out about the Thai constellation, which is pretty, but it doesn't have the same variegation pattern as the Monstera elbow, right? You've got a lot of splotchiness going on. 
Um, in most cases, the leaves are almost more green than having like these, this blocky variegation. A lot of those leaves weren't really that exciting to me. It's only until like the leaves start to show a lot of variegation is when I think the Monstera Thai constellation looks very pretty. The variegation, like the white, it's not really white at all. It's more of like a cream color. That cream with the green, I didn't really care for in the beginning, but it actually grew on me, especially with the blockiness. It looks very pretty. When, it, when it's blocky like this, I think it looks beautiful. It kind of looks like a monster elbow, right? But with a creamy color instead of the pure white. But yeah, so I then found out about like the Monstera Aria, the yellow variegation, the mint Monstera. There's so many different types of variegations, so many different types of colors in the variegations, different variegation patterns, and it's all so cool. Another reason why I didn't really care for the Thai constellation is the fact that it grows very large. I don't really believe in like the small form Monsteras large form monsteras because they when you give it the right conditions they will all grow like massive but i've seen pictures and videos of the thai constellation growing so huge when grown indoors and i don't have the space for that so i've kind of held back on getting one but like i mentioned earlier this was a gift and it's always been on my wish list even though i would never like buy one myself i will gladly take it as a gift but yeah this one looks like it has a healthy amount of variegation but what is really exciting is that this stem has like a streak of white going on right there and then at the base we've got some more streaking i can't tell if this new growth has any fenestration yet with my other Monsteras, Monstera elbows, the fenestrations don't really occur until like seven to eight leaves in, especially in my growing conditions in this plant room. But that's okay because like I said, I don't have a lot of space here. So I get to continue to watch this grow and grow and grow. Hopefully when I move out of this house, hopefully in like two years or something like that, I will have a bigger space for all of my plants. And then by then this will have like such big leaves mark my words but anyway i'm going to be putting this into my Millsbow cabinet that i have downstairs rather than this one because i think it could use a little bit more plants in there i'm trying to put all of my favorite plants in that Millsbow because it's being fe featured for my guests if i have people over in the house and like this one will be like my more struggling plants now that i think about it i have more space in this one because i did transfer some pl some plants from this one to the other one so yeah let's introduce this baby to my other plants in the let's go downstairs let's turn off my ring light here see you later plants okay let me introduce you to my new Millsbowl wide. Ta-da! So I just got this last week because I realized that it was in stock in my IKEA. And it's weird because usually when these are in stock in my IKEA, they're like usually gone, like all gone the next day. But for some reason, I checked like a month ago, there were seven or eight of these of these boys in stock and then a week or two after that there were seven in stock so it's like no one's going out to buy these things so that was my chance to go and snatch one and i did so let me show you some of the plants that are in here so i put my bushy monstera elbow here that was like one of the first plants i put in here and then these two plants the Calathea macoyana and my spider orchid. Those were originally in my kitchen next to my kitchen window, but I decided to put them in here because I 
feel like the Calathea could use the extra humidity. And this one has kind of gone dormant, so I'm hoping that by putting the plant in here, it'll spark new growth. I put my Philodendron Painted Lady in here. This one, unfortunately, had spider mites, so some of the leaves died. I'm so sad. Um, and the beautiful butt pot. <laughs> uh, so I put that in here hoping that it'll bounce back, which I think it will because there's a lot of new growth in there. And then my Anthurium Luxurians, which has a blue tape. I'm trying to straighten out this leaf because the very tip is kind of it do like that. <laughs> so I'm trying to flatten it out with tape. Hopefully that works. And then back here is my Anthurium clarinervium. And then up here is my very sad looking variegated Hindu rope, which I had to chop it down all the way up here. It was all the way like down here, almost a foot long. But for some reason, I think I underwatered it. I think it's bouncing back because every time I water it, the leaves do harden up. But we will see. There's no like any real signs of new growth yet on that one. But to the mix, I'm going to be adding my new baby. Where should I put her? Front and center like that. Look at this happy family. Pia, what do you think? Me too. So yeah, this is my new Millsbill wide. As you can see, I put the pegboard back there. If you're wondering, by the way, how to install the pegboard, I uploaded a how to install the pegboard video. It's actually my one of my most watched videos right now on how I put together my Millsbow cabinet, my Millsbow tall. So if you're wondering how to install that pegboard, definitely check that video out because I show you how to use a screw that comes with it. And if you have a couple of washers laying around, you use that behind the pegboard in order to create that gap. You know what I'm talking about? If you don't know what I'm talking about, then go ahead and click that link. Or It's not complete yet because I was waiting for my fan to arrive and it's finally here. I'm also waiting for my smart plug for the lights so that I can schedule that to go on and off. Oh yeah, I also added weather stripping similarly to the way I did the weather stripping to my other Millsbell cabinet. And what else? I don't have a I don't have a humidifier in here. I don't have one in my other one either because I feel like the humidity in here stays pretty constant. And then when it dries out, it's it's like watering day anyway. And that brings the humidity back up. I'm just gonna put this fan in and kind of set it up real quick. And then we'll see what it looks like. So around the corner here is where I stuck that plug through that hole. I was getting kind of nervous because the plug itself is really fat. But thankfully, I was able to stretch that rubber gasket around this plug and it fit. Now let's turn her on and see how that airflow is. Oh, <laughs> I thought it started with the lowest setting, but that was the highest. I was getting kind of worried because that was really strong. Look at these plants dancing in the wind.
Well, that's about it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please do hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't yet already, plant scribe. Stick around for some update videos on the Thai constellation because I will definitely have to repot that one sooner or later, right? Well, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!